In the waning, draining final days of another Knicks lost winter, a look back through the mists of time revealing the singular memorable moment in this year came February the 8th when Madison Square Garden security ejected former Knicks player and eternal Knicks legend Charles Oakley as Oakley was seated near the franchise owner James Dolan. Everybody looking over there, there apparently there's a, there's a Charles Oakley over there Mike. fight in the, in the stands. Charles Oakley is involved in something. They need security in a big way. Security is there. Oakley now being taken off. Now for Oakley, his heroic stature skyrocketing among Knicks fans, while the incident was another in Jim Dolan's battle for respect from his fan base. Now what happened two nights ago outside the garden now takes its place in that list. Dolan in a verbal confrontation with the Knicks season ticket holder on the streets of the mean city. An incident first reported by Deadspin. Now Knicks season ticket holder Mike Kamersky was in the eye of the storm. What the heck happened in 25 or less? Hi Bob, first uh, thanks for having me and sure. I want to send my condolences uh, to, to the closing of St. Anthony's. That's terrible news for the greater New York City area. Uh, but on Tuesday evening, you know, it was a, a night not dissimilar to many other nights. I uh, got to the garden about a half hour before tip-off. I uh, was waiting outside with my friend to go in. Um, it's sort of a, an underpass in the middle of the garden where there's not a lot of foot traffic. Um, but it's open to the public. Uh, Mr. Dolan was, was walking out, presumably from the garden, to a waiting limousine. And I, you know, was shocked to, to see the owner and almost reflexively shouted, I'll admit that, uh, sell the team gym. Just like that. Um, the, the weird part about it is instead of sort of instinctively responding to me, Mr. Dolan proceeded to his vehicle, um, opened his car door, closed the car door, walked all the way back, I don't know, 30, 40 feet, about 30 seconds past, uh, responded to the group of us who were standing there. It was me, a friend of mine, um, and, and some, some random uh, fans. They may have even been commuters because Penn Station is right there. Who said that? I immediately uh, took responsibility for the words, and he got in my face uh, rather aggressively, started cursing at me, accused me of cursing at him when I uh, uh, explained that mm -hmm. I actually hadn't said that. Um, he just sort of escalated the situation where it didn't need to go. And I just want to say, don't feel sorry for me. I have a wonderful life. Yeah. I live comfortably. I have a great family. I have a beautiful girlfriend I love very much. But on behalf of you know, uh, all Knicks fans whose, whose support and, and love I've really been overwhelmed with the past 24 hours or so, um, I just think it's sad that uh, Mr. Dolan treats yeah. uh, the fans of, of the Knicks who are so passionate and dedicated with such, you know, um, aggression and disrespect. Yeah, quickly, let's get Jim Dolan's side of it. We invited him today. He declined. Uh, he did admit uh, on, uh, to Deadspin to using uh, the language, I did call him an a-hole because he's an a-hole, and quote, and then through the franchise, nobody should come to an event at the Garden feeling as though it's okay to be verbally abusive or disrespectful to anyone, including the owner of the arena, and not expect to be told that their behavior is unacceptable. This fan was completely out of line last night and does not like the fact that he was told he was out of line, so has chosen to spend the day tweeting away looking for his 15 minutes of fame. We got less than a minute. Let's talk about being a Nick season ticket holder and the atmosphere inside the arena and sure. how much fan free speech is tolerated. What are your observations? Sure, as you can imagine, uh, there's been a lot of bad times being a Knicks season ticket holder recently. Um, but that being said, uh, Knicks fans are knowledgeable, they're respectful, they certainly express their displeasure when it's appropriate, mostly through boos and you know the common chants you would hear on TV. But as far as you know, disrespect and profanity, sure it happens here and there, but it's certainly not the norm. Um, and, and that, that's really what it's like in the inside. It's passion, but it's respectful. It's within, it's in, within the boundary. And just quickly as a code to get it on the record here on OTL, you were what? You said you were followed by security for several blocks to try and stop you from going into the building? Absolutely. Um, when I chose to remove myself mm -hmm. from the situation that I was worried would actually escalate physically, considering the intimidating nature of his security guards, I walked to 31st Street, and Mr. Dolan expressly directed one of his guards uh, to follow me and ensure I did not get in the garden. And that uh, security guard actually followed me off of Madison Square Garden property, across 31st Street, yeah. up to 7th Avenue, okay. for about another block and a half and when I was able him. to, to lose Using him. CIA tradecraft, you lost him and got into the game. Um, that's what we're talking about <laughs> yeah, exactly. with uh, a $3 million franchise. All right, Mike Komersky, thanks for your time today. We appreciate it.